Hey everyone, Powin here and welcome back to my garage. It is awesome to have you guys here for another DIY technical video by Acuity Instruments. In today's video, we're going to be installing the 10th Gen Civic fully adjustable short shifter in my 2017 Honda Civic right behind me. Now with countless hours of R&D, this shifter might be the most refined Honda shifter out there. Being a step up from our Stage 2 kit, this shifter offers four points of adjustability, stiffer centering action, wear compensating spherical joints, and an all metal frame. So if you're looking for a shifter that can be tailored to your driving style, whether it be on the track or on your daily commute, this shifter is right for you. So with all that being explained, let's go to the unboxing of this short shifter assembly. So the first thing you'll find in the box are four mounting screws, a cable support o-ring, a cable support bolt, and a cable support sleeve inside a plastic bag. The next thing you'll find is the entire shifter body encased in plastic shown here. And finally you'll find the shift lever assembly inside a plastic sleeve. So for this installation, you're going to need a set of plastic interior panel removal tools, a number two Phillips head screwdriver, a number one flathead screwdriver, a right angled pick tool, a 14 millimeter wrench, a long reach four and five millimeter Allen socket, eight, 10 and 19 millimeter sockets with a ratchet wrench and extension. Finally, you're also going to need a torque wrench. All right, everyone. So now that I've gone over the required tools you're going to need, I'm gonna briefly show you guys how to remove your center console. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to remove your stock shifter assembly in order to install the Acuity Instruments short shifter. Now bear in mind, if you're a gearhead with a little bit of technical experience, meaning that you've done oil changes, air filter changes, or accessory belt changes in cars in the past, this entire procedure should take you about an hour and a half to two hours. However, if you are a novice, this entire procedure should take you about three to four hours. Now, if you want the most detail in this procedure, Acuity Instruments has a designated installation guide for this short shifter available on their website. So without further ado, let's dive into this install. Before we attempt this install, please park your car on flat ground with the emergency brake engaged. We also recommend disconnecting your battery by removing the negative battery terminal and setting it aside. Now to remove the shift knob, separate the shift boot from the base of the shift knob. Then loosen the locking nut and unscrew both the knob and locking nut off the shift lever. Now lift up the armrest and then pry off the two armrest trim pieces. It's easiest to pry them from the inside of the console under the trim pieces as shown. Remove up the center console and remove the top exterior trim pieces. Start by prying at the bottom edge and work your way up to unclip each trim piece as shown. Take your time to pry these trim pieces as it's easy to damage the edges. Now we can observe on either side of the shifter surround two screws that can be removed with a number two Phillips head screwdriver. Then pry under the front of the shifter surround and pull up along the sides to unclip it from the console panel. Proceed to unclip the electrical connectors underneath the shifter surround by first depressing their locking tabs and pulling them off. Lift the shifter surround off of the console panel and move up to the climate control head unit. Pry under the sides of the unit as shown to unclip it from the dashboard. Next, remove the two wiring connectors behind the climate control unit. Like the shifter surround, these connectors have locking tabs to the press before you can pull them off. Locate the two screws at the top of the console panel and proceed to remove them using a Phillips screwdriver. Remove a third screw at the bottom of the console panel shown here using a screwdriver or a hex socket. Then put the car into an even gear and pull the console panel up to remove it. Now moving under the dashboard, use the pick tool to reach into a slot at the bottom of the switch panel to pull it forward. Remove the wiring connectors behind the panel, depressing the locking tabs to separate them as shown. Moving to the middle of the center console, use a pick tool to remove all the wiring clips inside the center console. Each clip has two tabs to depress in order to separate them from their respective mounting points. 
Be patient with these clips as they can take a little bit of finesse in order to remove them. Now clean out your center console of all of its contents and plastic compartments. Use a Phillips screwdriver or hex socket to unscrew the two mounting screws at the bottom of the center console. Moving behind the center console, pry off the rear panel assembly, starting from the top edges and working your way down as shown. Now disconnect any electrical connectors behind the panel. Remove any wiring clips from the center console, again using a pick tool. Now pull the center console away from the firewall to unclip it from the dashboard. Before lifting the center console out of the car, unclip the USB port that is located under the middle of the center console. Now we can place the center console aside to make space to work around the shifter assembly. To gain access to the rear bolts of the OEM shifter assembly, we first need to remove the console support bracket. Use a Phillips head screwdriver or hex socket to loosen the two screws securing this bracket to the chassis of the car. Then remove the four mounting bolts of the OEM shifter assembly using a hex socket and extension. Here we are removing the two rear mounting bolts, and then we proceed to remove the front two mounting bolts. Now starting with the gate change cable, Remove the metal locking clip that secures the cable's end link to the shifter rocker pin. Then pull the cable end link off the rocker pin. Below the shifter, remove the gear change cable end link from the shift lever. A metal locking clip needs to be spread apart so that the end link can be pulled downwards off of the shift lever. To remove the gear change cable from the OEM shifter body, insert a small flathead screwdriver from above, placing it just behind the locking tab of the black bushing shown here. Pry the tab away from the cable base so that you can turn the black bushing counterclockwise 90 degrees. Wiggle the bushing upwards to pull it off of the shifter body. The removal of the gate change cable is similar to the gear change cable, but this time you need to insert a flathead screwdriver from the left side so you can pry a similar locking tab to spin the black bushing counterclockwise, then wiggle the cable out from the side of the shifter body. Remove the remaining wiring clips that surround the OEM shifter. Each can be removed after depressing two locking tabs either by hand or using the pick tool as shown. Finally, remove the OEM shifter assembly, taking care to navigate the gear change cable out from the center of the shifter. To install the new short shifter body, grab the four mounting screws and thread them through the base bushings. Then place the entire shifter onto the factory mounting points, taking care to make sure that the gear change cable slides through the center of the shifter. Proceed to tighten down each of the four mounting screws. Start each screw by hand and then use an allen socket and extension to torque the screws down. The correct torque specifications are engraved on our parts and can also be found on our written install guides. To remount the cables, note the locking pin on the cable mount brackets, then rotate the black bushing counterclockwise to the position shown, then slide it onto the mounting bracket. Once it's fully seated, rotate the cable clockwise about 90 degrees until the locking tab snaps in place adjacent to the locking pin. If you have trouble with the tab snapping back in place, you can use your finger or flathead screwdriver to bend the tab towards the mounting bracket as needed to secure the rotation of the cable. Repeat the same installation process with the gate change cable. Now loosen the gate spacing adjustment using a 19mm socket. Doing so allows you to move the pin up and down to set your preferred gate spacing adjustment. Before reinstalling any cables, torque this adjustment down to spec. 
reinstall the gate change cable end link onto the rocker pin, and secure it in place using the factory locking clip. Reinstall the gear change cable end link by centering the white bushing of the shift lever on the end link and push up so it spreads apart the metal locking clip. Push up until it snaps back over the white bushing. Now loosen the throw adjustment using an Allen socket. Then select your desired throw adjustment and tighten the adjustment back down to the proper torque spec. Remove the packaging sleeve from the upper rod assembly, then insert the offset section into the center pivot ball of the shifter body. Screw down the upper rod assembly, then select your desired shift knob position within the marked safe adjustment range, then torque the upper shift rod down to spec. To raise or lower the shift knob height, loosen the topmost socket cap screw on the upper shift lever assembly. If you'd like, you can wait to make this adjustment with the position adjustment after most of the center console is reassembled. Moving to the right side of the shifter, slide the allen screw into the cable support sleeve and tighten both parts onto the shifter to the correct torque spec. Then install the rubber o-ring around the cable support sleeve and the gear change cable as shown. Now test the shifter out, running through all the gears and make any final adjustments necessary. Then piece the entire center console back together in the reverse steps used to remove it. All right, everyone, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and also consider commenting below and tell us what you think of this 10th gen fully adjustable short shifter. And to stay up to date with all the news on all of our parts and current projects, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check us out on social media as well. Again, my name is Pound Song and I will catch you guys in the next DIY technical video. Bye.